Welcome to AAH Tutorials where we show you how to work on cars. Today we're going to be working on a four-door seatbelt for a 01 to 05 Honda Civic. So let's get to it. For this we're going to be using some pretty common household tools. First we're going to be using a ratchet and on this ratchet we're going to be needing a size 10 socket and then also a size 14 socket and last we're going to be needing a flat screwdriver. The first thing you want to do is we're going to want to get a couple things out of the way. The first thing you want to get out of the way is the, is the front seat and we're just going to push that all the way up like that. After you push that out of the way you're going to want to open this back door as well. Now that everything's out of the way, we can take off this plastic piece that's hiding the seatbelt. And after we take off this plastic piece, we can get to the seatbelt easier. To take off this plastic piece, we're just going to use our hands. And it just pretty much pries off like that. And it'll unclip at the bottom. If you look here, it'll unclip from here. So you just want to pull up on it. And it just comes off nice and easy like that. After we get that plastic off, there's going to be a rubber piece here on the bottom. And we're just going to pull up on this rubber piece. And whenever we do that, it's going to reveal a bolt on the bottom. So we're going to take our ratchet with the size 14 socket on there. And we're going to be taking this bolt off. After we get that off, there's going to be another bolt on the top. If we look up here, it's hidden behind this plastic piece. And if you want, you can take your flat tool and pry it from over here on the side. And it should just come off like that. Sometimes you can just use your hands. It's not really that big of a deal. And then after you take that off, there's going to be a bolt right here. And we're going to just take this bolt off. So we got the belt part of it off. Now we're gonna take the contraction re retraction part off. And the way that comes off is there's a size 10 bolt at the top. And then there's also gonna be a size 14 bolt on the bottom. Then after we take this off, it's gonna be plugged in and we're just gonna have to plug it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Starting with the 10 bolt first. And you always wanna make sure you start with this top bolt. The 10 bolt. We got that off. Now we can take our size 14 socket and get the bottom one off.
There, now we have that piece off. This is the plug I was talking about. So we're just gonna, the way this plug comes off is you wanna push it down this way. And when you push it down, you can pull out the plug and it comes off nice and easy after that. So now we're just gonna put it all back together to show you how that's done, starting with the plug. I'm gonna push that in, it's gonna go in nice and easy. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure it hooks in place here first. You wanna put this little hook inside this hole And that's the first thing you want to do. Then after you do that, make sure these plastic pieces go actually underneath here. You want to make sure that these plastic pieces are going to go over the traction belt part. And then again, putting the hook into the hole and we can just tighten this bolt all the way back the way it was. And we just take our size 14 socket. And we can just start on this. Now, if you're, if this hole, if this uh, hook ever falls out of the hole, you want to make sure it stays in there, it stays put. As you can see, as I'm tightening it, it's falling out at the same time. So I'm just kind of doing some double duty, using my thumb to hold it down, and at the same time tightening this bolt. And you just want to make sure you get this bolt nice and tight. And after you do that, you can go ahead and take your size 10 socket. with a size 10 bolt and we can just put this back in too. I'm gonna use my hand first. And after I use my hand, I can go ahead and use the ratchet. This 10 millimeter, millimeter bolt doesn't have to be on there too tight, but make sure you feel it, that it's on there good. After you do that, you can go ahead and pull the belt. We can pull it up and we can put it back in its place, the hole that was here. And we're just gonna use our hand to line it up we're gonna line everything up and we're just gonna use our hand first to tighten it. Then you can use your size 14 socket with a ratchet. And we can go ahead and put this on. After you do that, we can cover the bolt back up to make it look all pretty. Just slap that plastic piece back on. And finally, the last thing we have is the bolt down here at the bottom. And we're just gonna push it, pull it down. And we can use our hands first, line up the hole and thread it in first with our hands. And after you thread that, I'm going to go ahead and use the ratchet with the size 14 socket on there. And 
make sure that's on tight and after you do that cover the bolt back up so we can make this look all pretty again pushing down this rubber piece and covering up that bolt the last thing we want to do is we're going to want to put this plastic piece back on and the way this plastic piece works is there's a clip right here at the bottom and this clip goes inside of the hole down here at the bottom you want to go ahead and make sure that you slide this in between the belts as it was previously and you want to line up that clip with that hole at the bottom and make sure it all goes smoothly in Get that in, make sure the plastic looks nice, everything lines up. And that's how you put that plastic piece back on. Now you've done the whole seatbelt, everything should look good as new, and you have a new seatbelt on. Thanks for watching.